Good morning friends and welcome to my channel. Okay, before I even start, this is how many days I have left until I can retire. <laughs> you would think it was only about a week. <laughs> it's actually something like two years and nine months. <laughs> I'm sure to be here before, <laughs> before you know it. <laughs> that's according to this little app that's called Cap uh, Countdown that I have on my phone. And I promise I'm not going to drive you crazy with the countdown. But every so often I'll let you know how it's coming. Yeah, I'm a little excited about being able to retire sometime. <laughs> And I'm here in the backyard. I'm, this is not going to be a real long video. I just wanted to explain a little bit about what kind of a uh, um, minimalist I am. Because minimalist is not, it means different things to different people. Okay? I am not one of those people who has a hundred items and that's it. I think there's more than a hundred just in my kitchen. Okay? <laughs> I don't, I, uh, I'm not. Uh, I have pared down, both me and my husband have pared down a lot. As a matter of fact, I was supposed to give uh, a donation to someone and we really didn't have anything to give because we, we pared down a lot. We, whatever we have, we, we, we use or we, we really like it. But for me, it's, just, it's not about not having things, not having a lot of things because there's, as a matter of fact, uh, I'm going to do something about appliances later on, another video with that. But for me, that means that we don't, we're starting to not rely on things. We're starting not to think that we need a whole bunch of things. And, you know, it, uh, I think that happens anyway as you get older. You don't really want to go and uh, it's shopping spree. And it's different when, when your kids are younger and you're buying things for the kids too and you're buying things for you. And, you know, after a while, it's you like to keep things a lot more simple and that's at where we are right now now there was a point where this is an interesting story I was telling my husband that I was trying to get rid of little doodads you know like little um, uh, what do you call them like little trinkets that you have around the house and I've we, we, don't, we have some we have a few of them but we happen to have these cups that have been here in the house since I think since we moved in we moved into the house here in North Carolina about 15 years ago and we have these cups that are like collector's items and they're all Hummel cups and they're all from different times in the month it, uh, every single uh, cup every single month has its own cup except for November <laughs> and Bill swears somebody broke it and replaced it <laughs> because out of nowhere we can't figure out where this one cup came from that is a, a Thomas Kincaid cup, uh, cup and mysteriously enough it's just about the same size as the Hummel cups but it's not the Hummel cup it's a Thomas Kincaid anyway these things were at the top of my hutch they were sitting at the very top and I kept uh, periodically say, you know, those aren't really doing anything. Really, we need to to donate them and, or give them away to people. And Bill said, well, why don't you take them into work and tell people, put a little sign that says take it. And his ma grandma used to love Hummels. There was a point where he was buying me Hummel dolls. <laughs> and so I had a co collection of Hummel dolls, which were big and they were kind of all you know they, they took up a lot of room and those I did donate but this you know I, I I don't know if it kind of reminds him of his grandma because his grandma used to love Hummels but when we painted the dining room they came down and that's when we said well what are we gonna do with them and I washed them and for until we finished with the dining room which took a couple of days as you know to do we left them in on this shelf, these shelves that I have in the garage, along with some. I have have little containers that I use to to put away leftovers and salad and whatnot. So they stayed up there for a little bit. I had also tried to. I was thinking about getting rid of my little uh, teapot set, my teapot collection. I started to collect teapots 
few years ago. And then when, then when I became deeper into uh, wanting to be more simple and, and minimalism, I, I was like, you know, let's give this away or let's donate them or let's send them to, let's take them to the nearest um, like second hand store. And they were in the same hutch. <laughs> and that's what a hutch really is for. A hutch is to have these things, you know, that, that you display because, yeah, you have certain things that you use, but a lot of it is just display. Nobody's really going to use this, this Margaritaville <laughs> wine glass. Anyway, after the painting and we pushed back the, the hutch, Bill had gone, I think he had gone to the store or something, and I was taking care, I was, I was drying them off or, or, or seeing what condition they were in. And something told me, you know what? You don't really have to get rid of everything. And they were beautiful little cups. They were really pretty little cups and with pummels on them and really beautifully done. And one by one, including the Thomas Kincaid cup, <laughs> I began to put them back up on the, on the top of the hutch. And I didn't touch the teapots. I left the teapots. There's only about, I think, five of them. They really are unusual, really pretty teapots. One of them is like a Chinese style. It's, it's like a dragon. It's really pretty. I'll, I'll, I'll do a video with them one day. And Bill comes back and I say, hey, look, what's, look at the hutch. And he said, oh, you kept them. You, you're not going to get rid of them. And I said, no, I think we get rid of things sometimes that, I forget who said the quote, but there's a quote that says, do not have anything in your house that you do not know to be useful or beautiful. And I think that for, if we were to get rid of those things, the hutch would be just a piece of furniture. Yes, there would still be things in it, like I said, the Margaritaville thing, <laughs> you know, and like a couple of little things, um, our glasses from when we, we were married, I believe we're up there to the bride and the groom. Yeah, I'm not going to get rid of that right now. I'm not, I, actually, I'll never get rid of that. And the cups are pretty, the, the little mugs of the hummels. So if it beautifies my home, if if anyone ever catches them, their eye, it's a conversation piece. And my husband, I think secretly, didn't really want them to go. It's his house too, obviously, <laughs> you know? So there's, they're there to stay. But that's how I feel when it comes to minimalism. I'm not going to get rid of things. I'm not gonna get rid of pictures. I'm not going to get rid of certain things like that. Certain things you have too much of, yes, okay. but. There's find, find room for that too, for the things that are beautiful. How about you? Are there things that you want to uh, cast off? Are you, are you ready to move, to move on with them, give them to someone else? I've done that too and let someone else enjoy it. Leave me a comment if you, uh, if, if you feel that way also or if you find it hard to to break free of certain things, you, you, you hold on to certain things, they have sentimental value. Because really, the simple about life is not about just throwing things away or decluttering, it's, it's a lot more than that. And certain times we keep things that are meaningful to us or that have a history too, certain things have a history. So I wanna thank you for being with me on this evening which is really a, really beautiful. The sun hasn't yet set. It's really beautiful out here. I never sit out in this part, and I always say, oh, it's kind of nice. <laughs> I came home and we, we jumped into the pool because it's a heat wave, so we got the got cooled off after dinner, and now I'm just relaxing and sharing this story with you. So until the next time, thank you again for coming and, and sharing with me, and I hope that you are blessed.